How's it going everyone? So just a quick update and I'm, I'm pulling the actuators apart again um, to do the final, hopefully the final um, iteration. A couple little things I'm doing, um, for mainly because of the squeak, I think it's these little igus bushes here. I'm, I'm not too sure, but it could also be the fact that I had a 100 mil bolt coming all the way through here to pick up the tube. So what I've got now is I've got tubes to length now to get rid of that. And so that's gonna give me an extra, you know, 60, 70 mil of travel. And um, also I've got these other igus, LMUU12s, but they're igus instead of roll bearings. So basically they'll go in like so, then we bolt a cap on top, and then you're ended with this. All right, so that's going to be the new design, and hopefully there's less friction on these bearings than there were on these, like, bushes, you know? Because I'm not sure if it was just a sideway load that was making them squeak a lot or what, but um, it could be these as well. But so to make this is going to go all the way to here, give me the extra range, and yeah, so that's that's that. I'm also replacing all the FK12s with proper uh, the ones that are designed for my 1610. They're actually angular contact. Don't know what that means, but they're only for the 1610s. The 1605s don't need the angular contact ones, but these are um, yeah better quality than the ones I got. I get a bit of clicking noise when you just at low speeds when we're going up the rig goes up so it's like click 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 click. I've even heard that on um, the PT actuators actually so I think it's just these bearings are not designed to have the axial load like this way. They're supposed to lay horizontal more or less and um, yeah so maybe it's just because you're loading the bearings up this way it's just clicking at high speed. You don't hear any clicks, but it's just a real slow. Yeah, it, it, it's happened in the last rig. It happened on this one, but so I'm changing the FK12s. Hopefully that that sorts it. But if not, oh well, whatever. I just thought while it's apart for hopefully the last time, um, I'll do that. But yeah, so other than that, I've got some new top hats too, like well, what do you call them? Like rose joint mounts. So they'll just yeah, 10 mil nut goes in there and whatnot and it will just sit on top like so but yeah so anyway i'll get them back together and hopefully the squeaks are gone clicks are gone and i have an extra shitload of um travel oh yeah i've I just made this little spacer here that just sits flush there so i'm not losing any travel by putting it in just to because the rods are just held up here they're not actually located at all i feel like the thread in these um, linear rods are quite soft. Like, you really can't do them up that tight. I've already got some that are like, yeah, they don't tighten all the way. They just keep spinning at the end, which is a bit sketchy. Um, so the hardened steel rods, threads are quite, um, yeah, soft. So I've got this just to hold them. So when they, if they do get a bit of flex, that might just stop them from <laughs> wrecking the threads. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to put them on every on everyone just for a bit of added security. And yep, this one seems pretty tight. The first actuator was the first one I built. That actually, I didn't, I forgot to put Loctite on that. So it actually didn't have, um, all the bolts were loose. One, one had come out. So make sure you Loctite everything. Loctite, Loctite, Loctite. So yeah, anyway, these are all, this is still as sturdy as when I built it. So the Loctite's work, working on this one. That's good. Anyway. I'm not going to do a whole build video on this, it's pretty self-explanatory. All I've changed is the, the top bit. Yeah, anyway, it's just a little update. And then hopefully we can get some dirt action going.